10 years ago, when I was building my social media marketing agency, people were telling me that social media is only for kids. And why would ever anyone post their photos on internet? You know, now I'm invested in gaming and everyone is telling me the same, that games are only for kids and why would ever anyone wasted their time playing video games? Gaming will be shaping our future. It's already overgrown music and movie industry combined. Even Louis Vuitton handbag for your favorite character costs more than the real Louis Vuitton. Or Among Us, recently popular game, have, has 2.5 times more users than Netflix has subscribers. Now we understand why Amazon or Netflix will push their efforts towards gaming. Most of you have this unhealthy image of gamer in front of their heads, right? Like, imagine the worst you can, like, bad habits, going to sleep, you know, all the junk food you can imagine, all wars. But it's not true anymore. Even the esports players are called e-athletes. Because if you want to perform mentally, your body has to be in shape too. I will show you another one. This is Kevin. He's professional Counter-Strike player. Now he's streamer and content creator. And he's ripped. Go, you can check his Instagram, you know, he's... Shit. <laughs> you know, we are gaming more and we will be in future. The problem is the habits we create between the age of 18 to 25 stays with us and affects us for the rest of our lives. Gamers are specific sort of people. They have weird habits like going to sleep after 2 a.m. and so on. But they are also pioneers. It's about immersive improvement of the character, their characters. I always ask myself when playing some video game, why I level up that character instead of leveling myself in the real life, like doing some push-ups. You know, immersive is the important word. Like, gyms are not that immersive. And we saw some presentations, and I used to present about conferences and concerts happening in VR are the future. But I was wrong. It's not the same. It's an only experience in the new environment. Like, this is how you imagine the metaverse will look like, but this is how it will truly look like. That very well known environment of games succeed. Fortnite concerts are, are attended by millions of people with their favorite characters and skins and, you know, all that stuff around. And metaverse is something that we'll be living in soon. Well, honestly, I'm not sure if it is closer to Marvel Multiverse or Matrix, but one thing I'm sure that the thing how it's developing, it's not sustainable. Gaming is the most demanding activity or computer activity. And gamers want to improve. They really want to. They want to be better in the game, in the real life, but they don't have allies. Esports teams are slowly adopting health, like, you know, super, these best teams have their nutritionists, fitness coaches, and whatever. But these gaming events are still sponsored by, I can say, junk food, like sugary energy drinks, chips, or candies. And also gaming companies, they want to play us more, and they are getting and they are being better and better at it. And even esports players, data shows that like average professional esports player will end up their career or retire around age of 25. Maybe they got married or set up the family or just got that proper job. But there's a scientific study that shows that after the age of 25, once our brain stops developing, it starts to lose its performance. It's approximately like one millisecond or on one minute of the reaction time per year. It's not much, but, it, but for example, in 25 minutes StarCraft match, it can make a huge difference. And players want to play more. They want to make their career longer. They can make more money then, of course. We are used to, to track a ton of health data through any kind of the wearable. But what, mean, what, what might we do not realize is that games get a significant amount of data about our performance, about our health. And I'm not talking about the real-time or immediate performance, like how many kills you did, what's your APM or whatever. 
I'm talking about the long-term performance, that kind of a evolution of your mental performance. We can use it to improve ourselves, but we can also use it to prevent diseases or just overcome some disease. And there is a lot of data that have not been used yet. And there is also possibility of many innovations. And when I talk about innovations, you know, if we get back to it, how we control the computer, that the mouse and keyboard was developed, like, I don't know, 60 or more years ago, and it's still there. How we are going to control our computer in future? By voice? By running? Or in, like, Ready Player One movie? I know. How I will look like as a senior gamer? Like this? Or more like that? I hope that in my retirement I will be smashing hordes with my fellow senior gamers. But the question is, is the industry ready for it? Is it ready to face these challenges with my difficulties? Maybe you think you are not gaming. Or maybe you think you are lucky that you are not gaming. But the activity behind your computer is the same, no matter if you are smashing chicken dinners or zero inboxes. You know, we are all gamers, no matter the game we play. Even the hardware we use. All hardware companies, or most of them, have their flagships in esports or gaming. And that hardware, all our hardware is evolving, but not our bodies. Future of entertainment will be gaming and it will be fun, but it can also kill us. And there is no quick safe to use. Our work, our jobs will be more demanding. And gamers might be first to suffer, but they also might be first to solve it. If we are able to acknowledge gaming, if we can, you know, take it and think about it, how to use it, how to leverage its, you know, good sides, then we can build new things on that. And we also have to make it sustainable. We have to change that language between gaming and health. We can do it. It just takes small steps. Like, once advisor once told us that health does not sell. And he was right. We learned it the hard way. But you have to change the language. Like this. You know? I devoted my life to social media, and what I'm seeing is the world becoming more and more fragmented. Fragments connected by beliefs, interests, that we are not able to understand if we are not part of the communities. Like, for example, imagine this 15 years old, you know, managing his guild of 500 people in World of Warcraft. What skills he is learning? Like, you know, manage so many people, so many new soft skills, communication skills. Then he can cut his gameplay videos and or, or mold his game or his computer and whatever. So many new skills develop. Or try to talk to your, I don't know, younger generation, eight to 10 years old about Minecraft. You think you know something about Minecraft. It's like, you know, building bricks and stuff. But that's not it, you know. There is an adventure going on. You can see, you know, the receipt is easy. We just have to stop, sound like someone's mom. Like, oh, go to play outside. This old stereotype is something why so many fail to connect with this community. And when or, you know, if you want to build an environment, like, you know, it's fine building products, businesses around, there is so many business opportunities. Gamers are grateful customers. They tend to prefer the brands that they are supporting their favorite interest. But, you know, you also have to find a way how to, and it's not just about building a product or new business, it's about building the whole environment. Environment, if you want to really make an impact on the industry. And that keyword is convenience. When the convenience is the most common approach, you have to find a way how to connect it to the natural habits. I believe it's about the closing the gaps, gaps between something we don't understand and us. And if we are able to close these gaps, we'll be able to build something new, cool, better. And if I at least here created the awareness of you about gaming, I already succeed. And I hope we will be able to build a better and sustainable future of entertainment. Thank you.